one escape. Here you go. This is a top three match from last week's fledgling fighters. It's Sideboard Tech Zeku on the left versus Goldie's uh, Akuma on the right. So there's a lot of stuff that happens at the very start of this replay, so bear with me. I'm going to be pausing a lot to just show it off. Alright, let's just unpack that. So, sideboard starting off with flip. So if you don't know about Zeku, he's got this flip that goes whoop, like this. Uh, depending on the strength, he can go like a bit farther or like a bit closer as well. Uh, I think he used the medium version here. And he chooses to go for the elbow drop. Uh, usually, Zeku can also do like a little like command throw that just grabs standing opponents. He can also do like a like a kick that goes shing. It's like kind of like a dive kick. He's got this elbow as well and the kick and the elbow are both plus on block. So it's not a bad option. The main thing is that he's using it to bait anti-airs. Kuma's back heavy punch has that as a hitbox so it completely makes it whiff. If he did DP he would have gone whoop right up here and sideboard would have been able to land right there and get a big punish. But Goldie usually prefers to anti-air using back heavy punch so uh, one of its strengths is that it has a pretty decent recovery so sideboard is able to land and still not get a whiff punish on there. Uh, another thing good about it is if Goldie had thrown a fireball at the very start of the round like a red fireball here uh, this flip would be able to go around the fireball and he'd land and be able to punish in time. I uh, missed the DP there. Just a little tiny bit of spacing issue there. We get the crouching heavy punch. So on old Zeku, crouching heavy punch is plus two. So he gets the pressure after with like a light. Uh, usually they go into like standing low punch and then do a safe block string into the forward uh, Bushingram, the ink kick. So he goes for standing low kick here. And look what Goldie does, right? There's the pushback. And a little walk back makes it whiff. And because he already buffered a DP, boom. And I think what Goldie was trying to do here was uh, punish that light, that whiff, with a standing heavy punch target combo. So he already committed to it. So that's the punish he got. Still better than nothing, right? Yeah, both players getting a bit antsy, jumping around, trying to play some footsies. Uh, unlucky there. You can't really contest the Kuma uh, in the air like that because of the risk of air or fireball. Like, it gives him like a really good setup. Yep. Goldie save pressure, crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch again, walk forward, standing, or sorry, crouching heavy punch, but he barely just gets caught. Gets a bit greedy, goes for another walk forward, and that just barely gives sideboard just enough time to check it. Go in for Oki. Ah, that's a nice little um, Zeku trick. Is if you do standing heavy punch as uh, old Zeku and then immediately transform, you become young and you're plus one. So young's got a crouching low punch that's three frames, so you can actually get pressure there. But for some reason, and you'll notice that sideboard, when he goes into young, or when he's like kind of close to the corner, he just kind of does these like really risky close jumps. And even though he's plus, he just decides to jump. And it's an easy anti air. Oh, yeah, see that overhead? That's a V reversal. Uh, Zeku's V reversal is forward and three punches. And his overhead. Just so happens to be forward heavy punch. Uh, because Goldie missed his meaty, it just came out as a wake up overhead instead of him getting a block and then doing a V reversal. So, uh, a little trick you can stop that from happening with is you can off option select 
uh, V-reversal with throw. Delayed, forward, all three punches, and low kick. And because of the input priority, throw will come out instead of overhead. So you s you're still whiffing a throw in Akuma's face, which is not like, you know, the best thing, but better than doing a wake up overhead, so that's something you can do. And it's it's also a built in delay tech, so it's pretty good. Yep, another close jump gets anti aired. Throw. Nice. Check it. Doesn't get any pressure after the throw. Slide activate. Okay. So young Zeku players will uh, when they are in, are in young and they have VT on their side, we'll do slide activate. Uh, it makes them pretty plus. I think it's like plus six or something. From there, they can do like walk forward, walk forward throw, or they can like go for a frame trap. Uh, so usually, if they press like a four frame or something, you can do crouching heavy punch from here and get a CC. And then you can like dash up and like do target combo. But for some reason, Again, like Cyborg, like when he's like in this range, for some reason, I don't know why, he just like decides, hey, this would be the perfect time for me to jump. And it's another easy anti air. Uh, usually, Zeku is really good at jumping from that range because his jumping medium, medium kick is kind of hard to anti air when it crosses up, but Akuma's back heavy punch is just too good. Nice. Flip. Yeah. So he tried to punish the flip recovery there. So this is something with uh, Akuma's demon flip and uh, Zeku's flip. Is that they have at least 15 frames of recovery even if you do a follow up. Sideboard just tried to whip punish it using his VT but it was just a bit too slow. If Akuma's or Zeku's are just whipping flips in front of you, uh, you can use that recovery to your advantage by just chill in there and then when they hit the ground just press sweep. It should uh, trip guard them or just like punish their landing recovery. So he goes into the chain. All these chains are minus. No matter what, once you block this chain, it's your turn. The only safe thing he can do from it is a chain into standing low punch, which is minus one. Or he can chain into the final ender, which is minus two. Uh, I think the rest of them you might be able to punish. But either way, like if you see this VT dash chain, it's your turn. Yeah, so the final hit just barely whiffed and he tried to whiff punish it, but double heavy punch, a bit too slow. Probably like standing medium kick would have worked here. This move's minus 12, so sideboard should get a huge punish on it. Young Zeku can get like standing heavy punch into Hazanto or like MP HP target combo into Hazanto. But he just does jab. Nice, air fireball. He actually could have killed off that. Um, yeah, see, so he had full meter there. He went for HK Tatsu because of the corner carry and the really nice Oki after, but he could have secured the kill by just using a 1 meter. But luckily, it doesn't matter. Just seals the deal with the trade. Alright, Goldie playing patient. He lets the dash in because he's waiting for flip. Nice. So at this range, uh, Akuma's can pretty much throw fireballs without having to worry about uh, Zeku's ground options in this range. Uh, all Zeku really has on the ground to threaten the fireballs is standing heavy kick because it can crush counter the startup of the fireball, but even that's still just a guess, so it's not that reliable. So Akuma pretty much just uh, content just throwing these fireballs out. Yep, it even stuffs his uh, ink kick. But Sideboard kind of knows, like, alright, at that range like you're going to throw a red fireball. So the EX Bushin flip is actually projectile invincible, so get straight through it. But the only thing is he just lands slightly too early. There's a shallow kick and he doesn't get the link after. Just not plus enough. Plus? Nice. Jump back. When you get jump backs like that, uh, as a Kuma, it's important to confirm it's a standing medium kick. 
So he, he kind of wanted to do crouching medium punch, uh, standing medium kick. It actually might have still worked here, but if you do standing medium kick, it's got this nice little knee hitbox like this that always forces standing. So no matter what, you can always uh, buffer that into low kick Tatsu and it'll always confirm. Stand jab anti-air. Sideboard does a lot of those stand jab anti-airs. Another missed V reversal. Stuns a factor. Double dash overextends into the slide VT. Nice. So any of these fireballs he could go through with the V trigger. Nice. Check the dash for the standing medium kick. See, Goldie's so smart. Like, look at this. He was uh, he overextended before because he wanted the stun. But see, he gets this HK Tatsu. And what Oki does he get? Nothing. Just walk back, right? It's because he's scared of the full VT and full CA. So, he's got the life lead. That's true. But one touch could be like one mix up away from death. Uh, especially since Zeku in young form doesn't have any kind of reversal other than just raw VT which is strike invincible and also uh, CA and he's got both on deck right here so Goldie's just like content to wait it out <laughs> nice slide VT but not much reward off that baited So he does tech, and usually uh, sideboard does like press a button or like backdash after this. So he does fireball VT. Actually, I don't think I don't think Zeku's actually blocking this fireball yet. So he probably could have done something like try to ex Hosanto under and like try to counter hit whatever Akuma wanted to do there. But yeah, uh, he was already looking for the CA chip or the CA kill. Dash forward and watch. Dash forward, did a little walk forward and just sitting there. Baited. Koeru no Tokida. Nice. So I heard the Japan glitch. <laughs> nice clean, clean victory from uh, Goldie there. Sideboard taking a lot of risks in neutral with flips and jumps. But he shut down most of them, so that was very well played. Okay, so this should be the second game. Uh, we've got one in Goldie's favor. Let's see what Sideboard can do to come back. So Sideboard had some pretty good decisions in the last game, but just a bit too predictable with his jumps and getting a bit too antsy with his uh, Bushin flips uh, made it really easier for Goldie to just knock him out of the air. Especially with that Akuma back heavy punch, it's a big reward anti-air. Get really good Oki. Okay. Nice, so, so both players just waiting. Yeah, Goldie just going straight to the fireball game, but yeah, lucky uh, sideboard just goes underneath. Able to go uh, underneath this fireball, yep, and punish. And Goldie just goes for another one, and because the last few frames of the DP is a projectile, it clashes, but it doesn't actually hit Akuma, so he actually gets a punish here. Um, it's actually like a lot more minus than you think on whiff, so uh, Goldie probably could have gotten a way better punish here, but something's better than nothing. Nice. Get some Oki. Back to neutral, throwing fireballs. Nicely done. I think that a DP was attempted here. Yeah, so that's a crouching medium punch. That was a definitely a uh, MPDP attempt. Nice throw. I don't think he actually gets Uki off that. 
And that's actually, that's a very fraud fraudulent box string, so. Standing heavy punch, transform, plus one. Crouching medium punch, that's at least like six frames. And crouching medium punch on block is plus one as well, only, so. You gotta check that, check that dash after. Standing heavy punch to catch a whiff. Yeah, and the fire, VT fireball activate. Goldie uses that a lot to set. I actually, I actually really don't agree with that use of the V reversal. Alright, so look at the range that he blocks this crouching heavy punch. There's not really any threat of a throw here. Uh, so you can kind of just like try to block it out. Well, and even if he does throw you, like it's way better than actually getting hit by a VT Akuma. But the main thing, uh, the main issue I have with this V reversal that he does is because it causes him to lose trigger. Now, the only two things that Zeku can do against Akuma's VT Air Fireball is uh, EXDP as old, which sometimes trades, and uh, VT dash through, because VT dash is projectile and attack invincible. So now that he's used that, uh, and Goldie's in VT1, like, yeah, like, that's pretty much like saying, hey, Goldie, you should air fireball me. Uh, yeah, so. If he was gonna V reversal, he should have V reversaled the air fireball, probably. Yep, and there's the air fireball. There's nothing he can do about it. And he's still holding on to that last bit of VT because he wants to build one. Yep, nice. Takes it with a dive kick. Yeah, so that actually works because um, if Goldie was standing like a bit further out, like over here, uh, he probably would have been able to like DP it like up here, or just like even like jump up and then uh, air to air with jumping medium punch. But because he was standing over here, uh. When Zeku went up to do the wall jump, he didn't have time to react. So he got clipped by it, and because it was a counter hit, uh, he gets the jab. Probably into a uh, target combo to like flip him into the corner. Nice, so there's the same flip bait there. Dash throw. Yeah, so nice cross under. Goldie's very uh, content to tech. Uh, sideboard doesn't really give him a reason not to. He hasn't gone for like a single throw bait so far, pretty much. The dash forward, tech. Yeah, AA jab. I don't know if it's the latency, uh, but in this set, Sideboy is going for a lot of AA jabs. Like, either because it's online or maybe because he's just uh, under pressure, but yeah, it ends up working out this time. Gets the cross under. Okay, yep. Okay, there's two problems with this. Um, first off, I don't think that would have comboed. <laughs> yeah, standing low kick. Cancelled into the forward kick is not a combo. You've got to do standing low punch. Uh, he probably knows that, but he probably just screwed up or thought that Goldie was going to block the standing medium punch and then the standing low kick would counter hit. But the other problem I have with this is even if this in kick had hit, if you look at the stun up here, he's like one hit away from getting stunned by like a 120 stun move, right? So the better thing to do would have been to probably just get the stun and then just uh, save the meter, go into young, and then like use that meter to set up a reset that would take the round, right? Um, there's not really much reason to use CA early as Zeku unless it's like at, right at the very start because you want to like start building more meter because uh, he doesn't really get anything off it. Uh, best he can do is like 
old Zeku can do like a meaty gram, and young Zeku can do meaty slide, but the meaty slide is unsafe unless he has V-True, so either way it's still just not very good um, if their stun's built up, because you basically just let them out for free. Nice. Goldie gets a punish. Could have been more, but better than nothing. Two throws. Nice. So I... Sideboard doesn't really like taking uh, on defense, but Goldie went for Shimmy here. See, so he's walking back, but um, Sideboard just checks. Uh, I think uh, Goldie could have gone for more uh, meaty standing heavy punch after throw in this set, because uh, Sideboard is definitely more of a check rather than tech <laughs> type of guy. <laughs> nice. More of those close jumps that are killing him before. Nice, another another check. Right. So, yep, standing heavy kick into V trigger. I like that a lot because um, uh, Goldie's shown before in the last couple rounds that his preferred way of getting into V trigger is a uh, fireball V trigger uh, in neutral. So doing standing heavy kick could possibly crush a fireball attempt for him trying to get into trigger. And cancel into VT, you get a big combo off that, so yeah, good idea. And for some reason, Goldie, don't know exactly what it, why he did this, but he does Fireball as a reversal here. At first I thought it was like a DP attempt, but I thought maybe it, like if it was an EX DP, it would have been an EX Fireball, so I reckon he thought that, uh, he didn't think that Sideball was going to dash forward, so he thought he'd fill the space with a fireball, but yeah, he gets thrown. It whiffs the throw. I don't think you can get a meaty throw after that. Yep, and this time he saves the VT to punish the air fireball. Very nice. Okay, so we have got the third match of Cyborg Tech versus Goldie. Uh, it's currently tied up one to one. So let's see who can break the momentum. Nice. So he did standing low kick there. He had walk forward standing low kick and it came out as DP. He was probably just trying to do walk forward uh, the forward in kick. But yeah, it came out as DP. And uh, Goldie does a lazy punish here. So I say it's a lazy punish because, well, most Akumas, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to go for the crouching heavy punch CC combo because, you know, I know it's going to reach and I know I'll be able to dash up and do the full combo. But. When you like see a DP whiff like that and you don't have to block it, you're actually way more advantageous than you think. So you can actually walk forward and standing heavy kick that, right? Standing heavy kicks his uh, highest damage CC. Yeah, see, so you could have done like walk forward, standing, standing heavy kick, crouching heavy punch, etc can even end in palm from that too, so it's not like you sacrifice any Oki or anything. Nice. Caught him checking. Uh, he thought he was going to go for another walk forward, so press the button. Bro? Yeah. Goalie kind of sometimes overextends for the stun, but in this case, kind of just overwhelms sideboard. And yeah, that medium kick just clips him. Yeah. Bit too shallow on the jump in, gets out with the flip as well. So like I was saying, um, the flip is plus, but yeah, sideboard hasn't been baiting any, hasn't really been baiting any throws. So, yep, just text. And ex demon flip beat the vt dash. And that was a pretty risky read. Uh, you can use Hazanto. To like go under fireballs, it just goes like they would put a fireball like on the screen like like this, 
they can just go whoop like straight under it right but the thing is it's heavily minus or at least uh at least minus six i'm pretty sure so it's it's not very safe to do just randomly like that nice there we go he gets the full full conversion my only thing uh only problem with this would be that he goes for Pazanto, and then instead of doing like palm or something he switches and then does dp so old zeku doesn't get good pressure off of dp so um even though he just built up like over half the stun bar he just loses all that pressure so he even does flip after and he still doesn't reach yeah fireball activate goldie loves his fireball into activate and jumps back onto the fireball uh I reckon this could have been a wall jump, but either he screwed it up or didn't get close enough to the wall. Sits on it. Alright, so Sideboard's doing tons of switches here. He's kind of trying to make, um,. Make Goldie guess whether he's gonna go in or if he's gonna stay out, but he hasn't really done a very good job of staying out in this match. So Goldie's just content to throw fireballs because he's just not scared of Zeku's grounded game when he's in old form. So he's content just throw fireballs and just wait until he becomes young. And once he becomes young, yep, the jump comes. He he spent like all that time trying to make Goldie like impatient. But in the end, it ended up being him who got impatient and he jumped first. So he's kind of just like egging him on, like, come at me, come on. I'm just doing stuff, aren't you going to stop me? And he just jumps. Yep, another jump. Uh, for some reason, once he goes into young, he just wants to jump. Yep, another jump. Nice interrupt on the demon side. And again, he loses the Oki because he went into the old... Nice. VT to get the reaction DP. Another tech. Yeah, see, like, there's no... There's no reason for Goldie not to tech there. Base of DP. No punish! Yeah, he went for command grab there, but it was too far. And that was a very nice shoulder anti-air. Yeah, so he's kind of doing the same thing. I don't know what he did there. I think he just screwed up another transform. Nice. Clean hit. Into V skill. Awesome. So, yep, and does the EXDP. Alright, so if you don't know, um, after Zeku does V skill, he can get a uh, meaty, meaty gram here, the upper gram. And that's actually plus, so Goldie just decides to be reversal that. Knocks him down, and Akuma doesn't get uh, set up off his V reversal. There's not many characters in this game who can, if, and I, I actually don't think that anyone does anymore as of uh, season three. He does double dash and sideboard DPs. Like, there's not really any reason to DP there. Uh, you can just quick rise that and be safe. Like, he probably could have even checked that second dash. And again, he goes for the lazy punish. Just spends the whole V-Trigger now. He got a V-Skill earlier, so he's probably thinking, oh, I'll build another one later, right? EX Demon flip to get out. Nice. See, another close jump out of the corner. Goldie's always ready for those. And you can see him poking with a lot of uh, crashing medium kicks, because Sideboard likes to walk back. Oh yeah, okay, so like I was talking about, only other answer to that other than VT is the DP. And if you actually look at the health bars, Akuma actually wins the trade there, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, one pixel away. 
Still anyone's game. Yeah, see, now that the V-Trigger is gone, there's there's not really like anything you can do against that. Nice. But he does Hazanto here as a, as a reaction to the fireball, so he throws. And he tries to go under it. The thing is, by the time you've reacted to it with the heavy Hazanto, it's already too late. Uh, what you can do here instead is um, when you see the fireball, instead of going like all the way over here, you, you don't have to go all the way over there. You can actually just gain some space by doing a low punch Hazanto. So once the fireball gets to about here, you just do low punch Hazanto to like right here so that fireball whiffs and you just gain that little bit of space right don't have to go all the way here like if if akuma blocks that that's a minus six punish so you don't want to be there or even at, like if you use the medium one uh, you go up to here and then like akuma standing medium kicks you and you're dead <laughs> uh, another thing is uh if he's an old like it's the same thing he doesn't have to flip like all the way over here to go like over the fireball, what you can do is just do the, that fast fall tech and just like go like this, go around the fireball. Yeah, it gets caught low. Okay, so this is match point Goldie. If he wins this one, uh, he advances to grand finals. Uh, I think I think sideboard called for a little break here, so they've switched sides because of the how the battle lounge works. Yep, Goldie just waiting again. Yeah, he, he can cancel the ink kicks to nullify two fireballs. It's count as the same as like if it just hit. So he can just continue into the second one. Yep, yeah, pup, pup. Flips over the red fireball. Yeah, gets a punish on the recovery. Yep, still delay teching. Nice, that's plus. Yeah, Goldie going for lots of lows. Still no punish on that minus 12. Yeah, still going low. Low twice even. He's got a read now. Yeah, early V trigger or V reversal. Nice. So Goldie saw that that time. He was expecting the, the dive, but I think he was uh, expecting it to be a lot faster. Like a, like a Kami dive kick. So he just does it way too early and gets hit on his recovery. Goes into the target combo, put him in the corner, and slide into V-Trigger. So, uh, young Zeku, when he's got V-Trigger on deck, will usually just uh, do slide into V-Trigger because it's plus six. Uh, if you want to avoid it, you've got to try to neutral jump it or back jump or like just backdash really far away from it so make it whiff. Because uh, he can only cancel into v trigger on hit or block, so... And if you can make it whiff, then you can come down for like a really big punish. Uh, in this case, he just does meaty slide into trigger and it hits. But the thing is, yeah, there's not, there's not much reward off it, so... If he'd actually done meaty standing heavy kick into trigger, that would have left him grounded and he probably could have continued the combo. Like, he didn't even have to use the entire trigger if he got it grounded. He could have just done, like, target combo or something and then saved the actual dash for when Goldie activated trigger. Jump in the corner. So it ended up working out because he did red fireball, but pretty questionable. Like, these close jumps have been what's killing sideboard all day. And the VT whiff is actually five frames, so he can punish with a 
either a jab or a 5 frame medium. So he goes for the side switch target combo again, but he just drops it. Nice. Silence of each trigger again. Uh, most of the time, people's first reaction is to punish the slide. So they press a button and the VT dash into the chain actually acts as a frame trap. But Goldie is just, you know, look, he's he's got like no stun left. So he's just like, I ain't pressing buttons. <laughs> I ain't pressing buttons, I'm blocking. <laughs> he's in trigger, he's got meter. He's chilling. Yep. Jump back fireball and look at that. It just gives him this shield. Like this shield, like... Kuma's is like over here, and it's just like Zanku. Like there's a big shield, and he just walks back, and now his stun is like almost gone. Dash throw. Run stop CA. That's checkmate. <laughs> Nothing that Kuma can do. Like even with his invincible DP, it's just not invincible enough. Because if you look at the hitbox. Uh, Akuma's hitbox like up here, and Zeku, his hitbox is like all the way up here. <laughs> so by the time Akuma runs out of invincibility, that, that CA is still active. Batsuzan Gaisei. Oh yeah, I love that super. <laughs> Yeah, it goes for another flip bait, but Goldie's not been biting on those. Tries to dash in, checked. In the corner. Missed times his uh, meaty. And okay, so... EX Demon Flip. One of the best things about it. Like, it's it's got like barely any weaknesses as a move. Like, even, even though he gets thrown into the corner, uh, sideboard goes for a flip mix up, which goes like whoop, like over here. So like, you gotta you gotta know if he's gonna do the the kick or the cross up. But Goldie just he does his own flip, and because it's got a hitbox going up here, it just wins. Boom, and it's a great Oki, but sideboard's having none of it. Yeah, tried to flip over the fireball, but he was a bit too late. Oh yeah, look at all those lows. By now, Goldie's just smelling blood in the water. He just knows this man is not teching, and he is just standing up trying to walk back. Count these lows. One, two, three! <laughs> three lows! Aw, oh, lucky. Got Airy set out of the DP and <laughs> threw him out. Still plus after that crouching heavy punch even though it traded? Yeah, tech. There's no reason not to. Still hasn't uh, tried to bait a throw. Both players getting a bit antsy now. Goldie can taste the win. Yep, no flips for you. Yep, low again. Yep, low again. And clean jump in, seals the stun. With for meter, and the red fireball burn does tons of damage even though it's scaled. Yep, another close jump. And delayed meaty crushes the wake up irreversal attempt. And that's 3-1 to Goldie. And he advances on to Grand Finals. Well played from both players. Buzz off already!